This morning, 29-year-old Victor Mason Gibbs was arraigned in the magistrate's court for six charges, including manslaughter by negligence and driving with alcohol level above the prescribed limit after a fatal traffic accident on Saturday morning across from the Novellas bus terminal on West Collet Canal. Just after six o'clock, Emily Guy and a friend were purchasing coconut water when they were hit from behind by an SUV. The driver had been in our custody since the accident occurred. He was charged on Saturday for driving without duking attention, and yesterday his charges were upgraded to manslaughter by negligence. We understand he was under the influence. Was he drunk? Is that well, uh, I, I, am no, we, I am no doctor, and the police officers are no doctor. Uh, we are no um, chemists. But we have done all that needs to be done to be able to ascertain whether or not he was under the influence or was of a stable, stable state of mind. We had done blood and urine sample that will be sent to the lab, and as soon as those results come back, which he has been charged for that, as soon as the results come back, then it just be used to substantiate the charge for which he has been charged. Guy, who has been working as a finance officer at the Treasury Department for over 32 years, was rushed to the KHMH for treatment after the vehicle was taken off of her, severing her leg. After undergoing a surgery just before 11 Saturday morning, she was placed in an induced coma and died less than 24 hours later. In that accident, one female leg was amputated. She was taken to the hospital, and uh, yesterday she succumbed to her injuries. I am told that she is a Jehovah Witness, and um, she had refused a blood transfusion, and that may have led to her death. But let me say this. There's a thing in law that is said you must take your victim as you find them. So the fact that even if she refused the blood transfusion, she could have lived. That does not negate responsibility from the driver of that motor vehicle. There was a second person who was also injured in the accident. Yes, um, the other person is still in the hospital. They're recovering. Um, the injuries were not as grave as that of the lady who passed away. And we're hoping for a full recovery for the other person. Gibbs was remanded to the Belize Central Prison in Hattieville after bail was denied. Dwayne Moody for News 5.